Fisetin is a senolytic commonly found in strawberries. But don't uh, think of starting taking strawberries only to get your fisetin because the recommended dose of fisetin if you take it from strawberries that would mean you are taking at least 200 strawberries every day for the rest of your life. So let's understand what, uh, what is a senolytic and what is a senolytic required for. Senolytic is a chemical compound which kills senescent or senile cells. So what are senescent cells? Now when uh, in our body the cells keep on multiplying when they are young but sometimes they change. So what are the changes that can occur? One is that the cell can die. The other is that the cell can turn cancerous. It will start multiplying and will not stop multiplying. But there is a third option. When the cell becomes, reaches a stage where it cannot multiply any further. That is when its telomeres have become very short. So when the cells stop multiplying, that is their telomeres have become very short and they do not die off also and they do not become cancerous also. Then what do they do? We call them senescent cells or you can consider them as senile cells. These cells keep on secreting harmful chemicals which in turn harm the cells nearby to them, turning them also senescent. This is a very important thing because this will help you understand that cells turning senescent can cause two problems in your hair. One is of course hair loss. When the rapidly multiplying cells turn senescent of course it can lead to hair loss. The other interesting thing is hair grain. So there are these pigment forming cells in the hair root which are called melanocytes. Now scientists have noticed in research that these melanocytes turn senescent. That is they stop working, they stop producing the pigment. Once they stop producing the pigment then the hair turns grey. So you will always notice that when one hair, hair turns grey then neighboring hairs also turn in grey. So that is senescent cells at work. So <clears throat> fisetin in this manner it can kill these senescent cells or turn them into normal cells. So that is what is a senolytic. Now fisetin, fisetin is a senolytic. Also in this research, now we'll see the research, here you will see that senescent cells, here you will see that fisetin promotes hair growth by augmenting TERT expression. So <clears throat> let's understand what this TERT is and why scientists are very excited over this. TERT is telomerase reverse transcriptase. Now, Telomerase reverse transcriptase is an enzyme or protein which re-lengthens the telomeres. So when more TERT is being produced in the skin, then it <coughs> re-lengthens or elongates the telomeres that are present in the stem cells of your hair follicles. As a result, the stem cells which were not multiplying earlier, they start multiplying. So the scientists were interested in knowing how we can increase the production of TERT in the skin. And when we produce more TERT, what will happen? So they conducted this research, they used a lot of different polyphenols and they found that two of them that is fisetin and resveratrol have a strong TERT augmenting effect. Moreover, these polyphenols also increase the gene expression of IGF, KGF, both of which activate the <coughs> beta ketamine pathway and TGF beta 1. Now TGF beta 1 is a very important protein because 
Here loss or a regrowth depends upon how much of TGS beta 1 is present. So it plays an important role in maintaining the hair follicle stem cells, thereby promoting hair growth. Also physetin specially promoted hair growth on the shaved dorsal skin of mice. This suggests that these polyphenols activate the transition from telogen to anagen. Telogen is the resting phase, anagen is the growth phase. So they also noticed histologically, meaning under the microscope, that on the, in the skin of mice where they had put resveratrol and physetin, they noticed a lot of KI67 plus cells around the hair follicle, around the hair papilla. This, the presence of these cells makes the stem cells multiply at a much faster pace. So these results suggest that resveratrol and physetin induce a shift from telogen to anagen. That is from the resting phase to the growth phase in the hair follicle by inducing proliferation of hair follicle bulk cells meaning by increasing the multiplication of stem cells present in the hair follicle in the bulge area and this promotes hair growth. So in gene therapy, physetin plays a very important role. In gene therapy for hair loss in humans, we use derma roller or a derma pen or a derma stamp to create to open up fine channels on the scalp. Then we spray or apply the lotion, resveratrol also and physetin also. <clears throat> so when you apply the, these lotion, the physetin, it reaches the level where it can be present in the vicinity of the stem cells. That is where it starts exerting its effect and then pushes the hair from the resting phase to their anagen phase. Or if you have understood the science correctly, it increases the expression of TGF beta 1 and also TERT, telomerase reverse transcriptase. As a result, the stem cells which were not multiplying earlier, their telomeres become long and they start multiplying again. And that is what you will notice after using this uh, molecule for a few weeks, usually between 6 to 8 weeks at most that your hair becomes strong, that the hair fall goes down dramatically. That is, you will not notice the same level of hair coming in your comb or hairbrush. And if you pull your hair, it will feel stronger and will not come out easily in your hand. So when you have to use this in gene therapy for hair loss, the first session I normally carry out at my clinic where I train you, after that you carry out the home use sessions. Use derma roller once every week. If you are very pain sensitive, I will tell you the cream to apply to numb the skin. And then you apply the derma roller. So derma roller once a week. Make sure that you notice pinpoint bleeding. And then apply facetin lotion from on top of it. I hope you have understood this. If you have any questions and if you want any <coughs> help with the Fisetin lotion, you can contact me. Remember to share this information with as many friends of yours who are having hair loss problem and also with your doctors. This is new science. Everyone needs to know about this. Share this video, like it also and do remember to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can WhatsApp the questions to me. The telephone number is written in the description. Thank you.